Okay, so we're in First Kings seven, chapter or First Kings chapter seven, verse twenty-two. Uh, the capital. So that comes at the end of a long pillar talking about the bronze and blah blah blah. So the work of the pillars was completed. Verse twenty-three. He made the sea of cast metal, circular in shape, measuring 10 cubits from rim to rim and 5 cubits high. It took a line of 30 cubits to measure around it. Below the rim, gourds encircled it. 10 to a cubit, the gourds were cast in two rows on one piece within the sea. Now, I can see everybody checking their phones in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's, what he's describing is a man-made pond. Or lake, basically a giant bathtub. You know those old bathtubs, like Victorian bathtubs, had like legs on them, and they're like yeah. on the ground. Uh -huh. and you could like pick them up. Those and... look kind of cool. Yeah. So there's a giant one of those in the courtyard of the temple, like a man-made pond. Okay. Does other does God bathe in them, or does he get other people to bathe them, and does he watch? You're about to find out. The sea stood on twelve bulls, three facing north, three facing west, three facing south, and three facing. I like how they call it a sea, by the way. Ten <clears throat> cubits by ten cubits, uh, like ten by five. That's like an above ground pool that they're calling a sea. <laughs> but to them, that's unfathomable. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say so. Do you think they had? A, I'm pretty a, sure. Do you think they had a fucking? They have. They've. Some of these people have seen the fucking pyramids. I'm quite Good sure. Point. I guess you could. I guess some of them have seen. Like they must have had a big fountain or something. Uh, I don't know not, what they actually. had. The greatest architecture around the, at that time, like around there at that time, would have been Jerusalem. Probably would it be possible to build like a pool sized bathtub back then? Yeah. Whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, when I went to Masada, Herod's Masada is this Jewish like hideout in the mountains, and Herod had fucking massive pools cascading from the top of this mountain that flowed into the other ones that were like all the size of like a normal swimming pool that you'd have now cascading cut out of a mountain that's pretty fucking cool that's pretty dope yeah. yeah i mean they could do that stuff it just takes <clears throat> man and effort but so this sea which is an above ground pool i'm going to call it the above ground pool the above ground pool stood on 12 bulls three facing north three facing west three facing south and three facing east the sea rested <laughs> the above ground pool rested on top of them <laughs> and their hindquarters toward the center it was a hand's breadth in thickness a hand's breadth is about uh, three inches or eight centimeters. Uh, it's rim from the cup like a lily blossom. It held 2,000 baths. That is 11,500 gallons or 44 kiloliters. So that's how big this above ground pool is. Uh, 5,000 gallons? 4,000 4, liters. Which 1,000 gallons. You, you work at a big. hot tub store. How big is that? That's just a big ass hot tub. It says forty four kiloliters. Oh, that's just a hot tub. Yeah, like a, that's like a commercial size hot tub. It's 4, <laughs> like a hot tub the at the sea. YMCA is four thousand liters. Yeah. Holy the shit! The sea stood on. Yeah, that's. I mean, dude, I could blow their mind back then with a with a hundred dollar Canadian Tire blow up pool. Look at this. I could ocean. become their god. This this is the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Of my front yard. That's so fucking funny. Um, you know how hard it would be to change the water in that thing? Yeah, it'd be... A, well, actually, probably not that hard. Disgusting. Actually, it would be incredibly hard. They don't mm -hmm. have hoses. Mm -hmm. So they have to bucket it in. Yeah. I was thinking to drain it, though, wouldn't be hard, because they definitely have a drain oh, on that's it. that's easy. Yeah, it's above ground. You just got to get, like, a row of your slaves. How long, how long would you let that sit there before it's, like, as a king would be too disgusting to use? Oh, it's a god. Never mind. Uh, no, this is... Well, it's in God's temple, but it's more, it's the king. I think they would have to change that every couple days. Yeah, the priests, you would. The priests are bathing in it, I right? know. They're fucking disgusting. <laughs> Everyone back then for sure is disgusting Any, all the time. Anyone's bathwater is gross any time. Could you imagine? Any, yeah. yeah. Your bathwater is gross and you shower every day. Well, not you, but most people. <laughs> yeah. Why would I? <laughs> it's just a waste you? of water. You're like my grandpa. He showers once a week whether he needs it or not. What I mean, you need it once a week. Yeah, <laughs> Whether sure you need it or not, is it's needed. no. That's his line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my line is uh, I showered last Saturday. That's the one I always say. <laughs> uh, that's a disgusting amount of time ago. I, yeah, last Saturday. Whatever it mm -hmm. is, it's always last Saturday. So it's at least a week. Oh, where were we? 
He also made 10 movable stands of bronze. Each was four cubits long, four wide, and three high. Not immovable. This is how the stands <laughs> were made. Immovable. Hey, the Hey, this is how it's made, Bible mm. edition. Sweet. This is how the stands were made. They had side panels attached to uprights. Uh, if you're following along in your car, you be. try and <laughs> try and run your car off the road. No, I just mean try and imagine this. Have you ever tried to build something via verbal direction? I've used to be a 